September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Gather around, my children, and let's tell a story of faith, the unholy trinity. Again, we may not see this whole game. This is just a casual fun game uh, that we kind of threw in here at the last minute. Uh, and uh, we're just going to check it out and play it and enjoy it. Thank you for those bits, Des. Good to see you, ma'am. Good to have you here. Yes, playing a lot of things for this uh, marathon. And random commentary first we gotta pop that drop though I'm out of water so we're having some sun drop Set whatever he said, this is that. The old sun drop, baby. Right, you may need a Ouija board for this. Ouija board. Waluigi board. Waluigi. Oh, runaway demon. So these demon things will come out at us, and we just gotta hold up a cross to it and repair the evil as we trog through this desolate forest we can also hold up our cross and get little clues and stuff you're invited come celebrate nate and jason's sixth birthday saturday may 3rd 12 o'clock through four directions turn right at 1338 snake meadow hill road and go straight past the well ba, ba. Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to the real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday, they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem, or coyote, however you want to say it. Because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. I guess. could say coyote uh, if you wanted to not right though <laughs> da, ba, ba. Mm. get away from me demon I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. Pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. 
I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. Oh dear. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off of Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway, trees just out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when I arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until he arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy may remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right the right that may seem harsh to the lay person, to us regular folk. Oh, there was something out that window. I seen it. Get out of here, man. Leave me alone. So we got the key. I believe that key allows us to enter the house that we haven't seen yet. Gonna walk over a little bit. I think this might be the one. There's still some stuff to do outside though before we go into the house. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical ce uh, cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscription on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut, Historical Society. Connecticut. Oh man. Had an accident here. Hold on. <laughs> Apparently my styrofoam cup that I poured sun drop in had a hole in it. So now there's sun drop on the floor and on my desk here. So give me just a moment, please.
Yeah, I, got, I went to drink some of it and there's nothing but the ice in there. I put an odd shaped piece of ice in the cup because I couldn't break it. I tried to break it. I, I keep a bag of ice and I, I'm toward the bottom of this bag and it was like a big chunk in there. So I put that in the cup and I was like, it'll just melt as I drink it. You know, over time it sits in there, but apparently it poked a hole in the cup. I did not know. <laughs> No, I made a miss. I, I made a miss, so. Yeah, that was my bad. I mean, the, the piece of ice poked through the cup. I didn't know that. Ba -ba -ba. All right, let's mute this. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to mop. I got most of it up. There's probably some still about somewhere. I'm gonna have to mop it up. Floor is gonna be sticky if I don't mop. But anyways, for now, we'll get back into this. Do, 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 do. Do. The day I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off it and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She is totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic i guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about but i've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at the book club kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore that damn kathy chaos reigns, chaos reigns. It's the house. We've arrived. We use the key to get inside. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, uh, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. <laughs> that that is that is a uh, a look there for sure. For sure. Oh dear. Anytime kids start drawing creepy drawings like that, it's, it's time to get out or get that kid out, y'all. That's all I'm saying. Damn it, man. I poked a hole in my cup. Yeah, I just drank what was in there. Crawly Boy 64. I don't think there was anything in this one to hold the cross up to. No music in here, trying to set the scene or the atmosphere. Make it creepy for you.
Rubber ducky. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. That's never a good feeling. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, planted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys home. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. It's not going well for the missus here. Not going well for the missus. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in another instance, and in other instances, spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the ride again. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead, or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Yes, why would that? I, I don't know. If a little bit there, Cheese. I feel like, you know, she looks like she's from over there, you know? That's a little much, a little, uh, being a little stereotyping, I guess, a little racist, perhaps. Easy to miss this little basement area over here, though. But I did not this time. I have played through this particular chapter before. I have not played through the whole game, though. Thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked, what's the weirdest thing I've seen in, uh, in missionary position or as a missionary? The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Queen Baba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. <clears throat> One of the saints the, uh, they worship is San La Muerte or Saint Death. Yesterday, we talked to a boy, about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said no, but I have prayed to San La Muerte. So he has prayed. Uh, he told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to Jim, oh, according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Layton. Oh, Layton. Got a sewing machine back here on the wall. So, so what? I need you to sew this sweater. It broke. It tore. Amy's parents cannot endure witnessing the proceedings of the rite for long. Miserous Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. 
Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Totally normal ritualistic circle, yeah, no doubt. What is this? Oh, it's Amy. Hey, Amy. She is here. She is here. So we just kind of got to walk around and locate Amy a couple times, but don't let, don't let her grab us. That was close. That was close. top of me dude I heard a door open upstairs I heard a door open upstairs Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about, hap about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father, with, when I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents, with their own I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry, John. No, no. My God, what happened to you? Don't you think any feats is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Oh no. Dodge. So you gotta do some damage. Then you gotta dodge her. Can't get too greedy, you just gotta get out of the way. Gotta be close. Gotta be close here. There we go. Ugh.
Ooh, watch out. Got her. Got her. See you, demon. Yeah, whoever that mystery shadow man, he didn't stick around for long. Good to see you over here. Some guy. Good to have you here, buddy. I don't, need to, I don't need to go back down the basement. Oh, that's not the basement. That's just downstairs. So we just need to leave now. We did our job. We did our job. We exercised this house, but she did get away. Kill her. A gun with one bullet. I don't want to see what happens if I just shoot the bullet and then don't kill her. Because I will tell you, the last, the last time I played this chapter, I did shoot her. And I got arrested for murder. So I'm wondering what happens now. It said there was more endings than just that one, so. I got arrested for murder last time. Jesus Christ. Yo, Ant, good to see you, man. There's Shadow Person, they're back. <laughs> Hurf, 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 hurf. I mean, that's literally what it said. I just gotta find her out here. She's out here somewhere in the woods, man. Here's the car. I do like how you can use the analog stick to move around in this game. A little easier on the on the thumb, you know. Especially when it's just simple movement like this. Oh, I think last time I found her, I went toward her favorite tree. But it wasn't quite at the tree. Yeah, it's good, right? Let's see the tree. I think it's to the left. Rains. Oh, he doesn't say it here anymore. Here's the tree. This is where I went first time to try and find her when I played this the first time. She wasn't here, but I think she was near here. Could be wrong. I don't know where the hell she is. I think I came from the right side of the screen and she was pretty close. To that side. I think she might be toward the top right of the map. I don't know. Maybe toward the uh, cabin where the shadow guy ran from. He's out here somewhere. I wonder what happens if we just go get in the car and leave. If it'll let me do that. Do, 
I'm getting right. What? More of this. I had the I had the cross up, dude. I had the cross up. A gun with one bullet. Oh, I guess that's that is the bad ending. You try to go to the car, you get murdered. You get murdered. Ortiz. Here's the well. Shot Shadow Man. Well, I murdered a guy. What's all this then? <laughs> I shot a random guy in the woods. Nice shot, sir. You killed your father or somebody. I don't know. Oh, I think she's right over here. Oh, maybe not. Regular old Dick Cheney over here. Damn, where's she at, bro? She's just out here in the woods somewhere on one of these squares. like on the map there's that deer again let's see if we get killed again now trying to go to the car I just want to leave let me get in my car and get away I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Oh, oh shit, it's in the car with us. Oh no. Ending two of five, father and son. Oh man, rip dude, it was in the car with us, chats. Esteemed Cardinal Gifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, uh, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, nevertheless, whatever darkness is in the side of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body. So that there may be no mistaking what I mean, I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. So that was chapter one. Uh, we're going to do chapter two now. their hymnal out turn to page 420 
and sing with me. La 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome, Cardinal Gifford. Yeah, I cast ye out, demon. All right, so now we're another priest. One day. Two weeks. Oh. Three months. Ouch. Michael. How are we doing today, Michael? I want to go home. You talk to who about you, you get better. I need to make you better first. Make sure she let you pick on me. Okay. If you find them to be people, I cast ye out, demon. Leave this child. He ran away. Oh, having an eyeball there. Eating some kind of animal. I have. That sad way, that fucking strafe though. What's up, Max? 2 a.m. back outside. Have you forgotten already? Those people leave, blah, blah, blah. That's just uh, tips there. No map on this one, but I think this one's a little more straightforward. Leads us kind of where we gotta go. There's a deer been separated and hung up in that tree there, different parts of it. Oh dear. Do, 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 do. Do. I thought one of these worked. Perhaps not. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long lost friend. A deer ate an acorn and it grew inside. Uh, deer's discipline. Verily, not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer, shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must first then serve his demon. You must then walk among the childhood of men as his demon, or the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the saved family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. Gary. Thank you, Gary. 
Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. It's a key. He's got it, but how do we get it? Three spirits depart. Do, 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 do. It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announced the passing of Cindy Marie Martin, 30, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, 40, devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. Their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was a training advisor for the United States Navy and Cindy was a CPA, and more recently, a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12, 1969 in Volonton. Though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. A public closed casket memorial will be held at Tillinghast Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial services will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter Amy and twin boys Nate and Jason. See you trying to sneak up on me, bruh. Do, 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 do. Oh. I'm an angel. I'm an angel. Checking these crosses for other stuff. Oh, it did look like a gecko, dude. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant, not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I leave the doctor's office, I see this strange woman across the street. All she do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. Somehow it made me it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctors. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's what I met Gary. All right. So we got one of the eyeballs there. You can see there's four up there. One of them's closed or whatever. Do, 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 do. Shut that baby up.
Losing grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. Uh, they say they have work for me to do. Gotta repay that debt somehow. I gotta lay that pipe or something. So this next part is a little puzzle, uh, a little maze, and I'm pretty sure this is like right up, left up. Um, but it didn't quite work, but I eventually got it to work. Um, but right up, left up, or up, left, let's do up, left, right, or up, left, up, right. You know what, maybe, maybe it's right up, left, up, twice. Right up, left, up, twice. been freed no more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic no more hiding my bruises and cuts no more pills and needles no more getting laughed at and kicked around they'll never laugh at me again by day my body withers away but by night my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge excuse me i had a little burp there Guided by beings of pure darkness, I have been frustrated with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First at the top left point and then down. I will lure them into the woods. Then I will show them my power. That's where Gary lures them out there in the woods, old Gary. Uh, if you'd notice this thing actually changed uh, I don't know what it is now but it was just a dude and all the spirits uh, that were sitting in here are gone oh key to the eye that's how you get the key just stab yourself in the eye that's why he's bleeding now leaking from the eye hole Do, do, do. 
not bleeding anymore. It stopped. It's Treebeard. Get him. I am no tree. Tree. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I have not seen her. Children fear me. Children fear her, not me. Confess thy sins. Day one of our paranormal investigation, the old Snake Meadow Hills Church. Uh, we've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, uh, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this splendidly, spindly lady, not, not sp splendid, she's spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently, it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk to church from room to room and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome, we're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled. And maybe you'll see her, she will move when you do, but never try and trick her. So you gotta go near the candles and you'll see if she's there or not. She's around though somewhere. AK can tell bedtime story. <laughs> Once upon a midnight dreary. You can just have AI Morgan Freeman do it. Once upon a midnight dreary. Old Crossfell. Watch the candles. Let's see, where is she? Where is she? She here? No. AI Freeman has a star flipping it. Oh, we must confess our sins. Pray for me, Father, for I am sin. What seeds have you yet to confess? I try to save a girl from evil, but my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again, but in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am Damn. sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Greet the child to me. Perform the sad of the adoration. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. For his mercy and yours forever. 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 We found a little secret tunnel in here. Oh, she's in here, bro. Ah, she got me. I needed to dodge. Mortis. Mortis. Seems legit. Yeah, totally legit. Do 
do tricks. <laughs> oh, 360. Oh. Okay. Oh, the candles went out. Night three shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. Basement's now open. Darkness surrounds the. This is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase, knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now, the hands don't move past two o'clock. God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man, going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. Oh, and we got this little guide here thing. Start here, go up here, I think go to, oh, nope. So if you do, if you take the wrong path, you get murdered, but you can go back to the thing and reset it before it spawns on you. But I remember the path. The, the mother of demons. This is about where I played though, so we're getting to outside of my realm of knowledge. It's the same everywhere. Yeah, you, that's what you do. You just hold up the cross to it. And you see what things are about, really. Do, do. No map here on this one. Going in circles. It's all back here. Boom, boom, boom. Right, left, up, down, or down, up, right, or right, left, up, down, up. Right, left, up, down, up. Doodly, 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 doodly.
right back here let's try it again right there up down up that's what i did up down up your other up ba start select saw some deer follow the deer yeah I probably should have went the way they came from oh dear Three murdered in latest wave of ritualistic killings, Sterling, Connecticut. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel Nogales, and Troy Ingalls are the names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual. Pandemonium Regnant. Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb had been de desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not these two incidents could be related. <clears throat> The arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern as well as the writing of certain symbols in blood matches the style of several murders that have, have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. The killings may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl by John Ward. Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her. Actually, we didn't kill her. Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Atwood, Nogales, and Ingalls because, after all, they were degenerate devil-worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated uh, their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you would like. That's what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stalked, you stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignored their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in their, in their ruined drug addict bodies and you chopped off their heads because everybody knows that removing the head is the only way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou canst not put down again. Thou couldst not kill Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for thy, they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now she is at thy door, her hand is at thy throat, yet you see her not. I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium regnant centani vitae, pandemonium regnant centani vitae, Panion, pandemonium regnant vitae, cent, uh, Joe Satriani. Controller is vibrating as you scroll down here. Oh, 
Oh, at 3 a.m. That sucks. I'm here, John. demon thing and now we're normal again just under the bridge you know and become normal welcome to the candy tunnel Death awaits. You play as the thing's head spider. I just watched that the other day. What a great movie. What a great movie. I. Look how much faster we were moving, right? Come on in. We got candy down in Candy Tunnel. Totally no old men down here giving out free candy to kids or anything a key here two more dead discovered outside candy tunnel near sterling two more bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch near snake meadow hill road outside sterling the notorious candy tunnel known in the area to be a home to addicts gangs runaways and the indignant has been the site of several grisly discoveries over the past three months since may five bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnels authorities are being pressured by concerned citizens to search the tunnels amid fears of a possible connection to joe bauman aka the candy store killer who has claimed eight victims in connecticut and rhode island alone over the past year The Candy Tunnel Killer. Candy Tunnel Charlie sounds better than the Candy Candy Tunnel Chiller. Killer. Aqui, senor. The killer is here, senor. <laughs> Satin lives. Read. When. you see it i think that's what it said see don't move when you see it don't move don't move don't move Don't dead open inside. <laughs> Hello. You. Well, the blood trail just goes into the wall here, which is weird. satin lives this is as far as I'll uh, this is as far as I'll go to hide my stash nobody goes past the first pipe nobody except those strange people with their bodies painted red and their eyes like animals twice a month they come and pass right through into the deeper tunnels Sometimes I can hear them yelling or chanting. Sometimes I hear something like an old woman laughing. Sometimes I hear things that aren't even human. Whatever they are, they sound really, really big. Really big shoe. Oh, 
I know God bless you, child. Not me. Not me. Somebody tried to attack me. I held up the cross and repelled them. Repel them demons. When I was a boy, my Nana used to tell me old legends about the dragons, trolls, and demons that lived up in the mountains of Norway. I'm those old tales, or in those old tales, the people were never strong enough to kill the monsters. So instead, they would sacrifice one of their own to appease it, keep it satisfied. It was like a deal with the devil, one sacrifice per year so that the beasts would not come down from the mountain and slaughter the entire, entire village in one night. There was no candy store killer. What we're dealing with is not even human. When I got separated from the other officers, I saw the damn thing dragging what was left of Jenkins down into the, its lair. That's what I understood. The bums and the tweakers, the ones with grid, and the child prostitute runaways, they'll eventually come back to the tunnels. They always do. It can have them for all I care. Nobody wants them around. Except maybe that thing. Now I tell you what. Uh, I hope to God it never gets tired of them. It starts eating regular people. Walking up the tunnel here. Just jogging along. Let's see if there's anything to read over here. Negatory. Do -do 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 Blood trail. Sorry, God, please save me. I'm God, save sorry, please me. Flashlight is dark as hell in here. No piece of paper to read from you? No paper. It's running from me.
Yeah, so I think this is about where the night that I played this, my internet went out and uh, the stream ended, so. I don't know anything else really. Uh, I think that said Lemmy Winks. I'm not sure. They hate the lights. How do I keep them off me? They're too much. They hate the lights. I need to stack this one up with those, man. You need to stack too. Get up there and stack with them. like three barricades it looks like the baby there's a dark crawler and there's a pentagram there's a key This is back to here, though. Go down here. Can we go down? You go right anymore. He doesn't work on that. I didn't see where to use a key yet, so go back over here though. I don't trust him. Hold that cross up to him. Yes, it's true what happened to Amy. You are no murderer. God, there is no fuck you to have God. But Amy bought her so he let her escape. Well, I didn't kill her. Like, literally, I got in the car and the guy ate. I don't know. I guess it's going off the assumption you got that one ending there. <clears throat> it 
Nabibe Patris et Fui et Spiritus Sancti. I will say both the word, he is my brave you can hide for trace. Oh shit. Martis. Martis. I will say both the word. He is my brave you can hide for trace. Oh, they got us both. Mortis. They're too fast. I will say both the word, he is my dream. What? Mortis. Well, obviously I'm not doing something right. <laughs> something different I gotta do here. Maybe I gotta just hit the red guys or whatever. Mortis. He said I gotta protect him while he reads the Psalms, so. Ah, shit, go away. Oh, fuck. Better watch out. Ah! Holy shit. I couldn't get under the loop.
Oh, did we get it? Oh no, it's morphed. Or no, we woke up from a dream. These dreams go on, the morning breaks. I can't do this anymore, I'm sorry. I will always love you back, Molly. Okay, we're not going in there. John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a uh, ritual on them to call forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malthus. I am in the process of discovering uh, their whereabouts. I will contact you uh, again soon. Uh, one second, guys. We must not let them do the boys what they, uh, we must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy. Yeah, poor Molly. Poor Molly. Father Garcia. My nightmares are getting worse. Ever since I left that house, I am haunted by visions of demons. I finished my work with Amy, but now the boys are in danger. This time I must not fail, Malfas must be stopped. As the profane Sabbath draws closer, the workers of darkness grow stronger. This will be my greatest test of faith yet. God have mercy on my soul. God have mercy on my soul. Game over ending one. Go forth with faith. New chapter mode unlocked. So that was the end of chapter two there. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. He has a Prius. <laughs> We're just finding out. We're talking in the background right now. that means I, I don't know what that means guys we'll leave it on <laughs> secret society September 21st 
I don't need to tell you that this assignment is top secret, yes sir. Based on what I saw during my previous visits, we could be in for a very long night. Is this your first exorcism? Are you afraid? I don't know, Father. September 32nd, nice. Don't trust what you may see or hear. Show me the needles. Oh, am I in control now? Yes, I am. Here we go. Oh, it's the family. It's the Martins. I thought it sounded like that because they were in the car. Why does it continue to sound like this? Maybe because in the past, I don't know. I'm gonna go get a drink. I'll be right back. No, I'm kidding. Because now they're in the house, yeah. The microphones only work out outside. What? What just happened? It's tied up down here. Oh, that works. I love that Latin. Three quarters in his pocket. I uh, woke up from another dream again. October 28th, 1987. Three days until the profane Sabbath. John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a ritual on them to call forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malthus. I am in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. We must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy. He does. All about that sleep. I got the cross back. I do. Can we go in the room now? I am not going in there. No, we can't go in there yet. Can't find. We'll try to find out. Yeah, same letters here. Could be. Uh, so this is where chapter three kind of starts because it's telling you the basic little rules here. Rules of thumb. Do, 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 do. Bim, bam, bim, bam, bim, bam, bim, bam. Nothing down here, man. Nothing but giant sized lipstick down here. Just checking all these areas out, holding the cross up to it, make sure it doesn't do anything, interact with it.
Tide compels you. <laughs> Hello, officer. This is no place for you, preacher. For y'all, preacher. Oh, don't get ran over now. Steal the cop car. in the balls chat you see that up there oh am I just repeating now it appears so don't get run over please do, 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 do. Right in the balls. Yeah, I've never played this chapter before, so it's not like I know where to go or anything. We're just kind of roaming around here. Try not to get run over, apparently. Oh, wait, I don't want to leave and go back. Does this just go back to his house or? Oh. Okay. Whatever that scene was. Oh, we're back here. Don't just stand there, Father Ward. I, I get the book and recite the prayer Lyra with the ray good to see you, Lyra. Thank you. Welcome everybody. Oh, there's the book over there Hurry up. Hurry up Guturus Alis Ajurote Maledicte Ajurote Sepins Desetis why does the book keep moving? Exorcizo te perdium vivum phantasmagoria. Don't let me get close to her. In nomine Jesu Christu que venturus es judicaro vivos et mortuos. Mother, mother. Get them out of here. It will just use the girl to afflict them. Come on, get out of here. You gotta get out of here. How do I get you out of here? Go. Oh, I just gotta take him out of here. I think it said it took him upstairs or something, right? If you recall earlier in the game, we read about this, but now we're seeing it. It's best that you stay here. That's not my daughter. Oh, Jim, stop it. Take it. Save her. gonna wake up yep 
Yep. October 29th, 1987. Two days until the profane Sabbath. I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. Three letters here now. For now, this is the only way I can contact you. I think they're watching me. I need you to come over as soon as you can. The situation has gotten much worse. My address is... Thank you, Lisa. P.S. If for some reason I don't answer the door, get the spare key from my friend Tiffany. 665 Orange Street, apartment 5A, New Haven, Connecticut. That one we read. I don't know if you're getting my letters or not, but I hope you'll be here soon. I really need your help. They're in the apartment. I see them all the time now. I can hear them in the darkness. I haven't slept in days. When you get here, just come straight to my place. Tiffany can't be trusted. Don't talk to my neighbors either. They won't let me leave, Lisa. just have to go out get in the car got a flat tire don't I? Assuming these are the Orange Street apartments. Look at these cigarette butts on the ground, you dirty bastards. Put that shit in a can. Among the damned. Oh, it's deep in here. It's rumbly. Rumbly. like playing games the first floor is a great place to start over however to play the game you must know the rules beware if you have a susceptible soul you might get pulled in i don't know what that means 5b Five A. It's locked. It's locked. Tiffany can't be trusted though. Yes, the first floor. I mean, this is a good place to start. I gotta open this back door, man. Let some cool air in. It's hot in here. It's hot in here. Enjoy the little elevator song while I change the atmosphere in my room here. One second.
It's a pretty cool elevator song. Yeah, I don't trust that Tiffany as far as I can throw her, you know? And I'm a big guy, I'm kind of strong, but I can't throw Tiffany worth a damn. Do, do. Do, 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 do. Back down on the first floor. It said the first floor is a good place to start, but you must know the rules of the game. We miss one A. Take all these little things too. I mean, I guess we could go to 5B and see if her neighbor's there. It said her neighbors can't be trusted though. Go up the fucking. Go up this way, every way. 2A is open. Dagger over here. Take it, bro. Not doing anything. I mean, I'm trying. Didn't do anything. Let's see what this note says. Every initial uh, or every initiated follower knows that in order to bring about the second death. One must sacrifice seven uh, something by passing them through the blank carved out of the impure vessel's face. Then shall the unspeakable reward the blank with the second death. Such was the fate of that whore, Amy. My beloved Gary has set his sights far too low. I will surpass her. I can't get it now. The 2A was open. Now we'll just go up to 3. I think we looked at 4 and 5 already. I don't know if 5B was open. 5A's locked. Where that's the chick's apartment, Lisa's apartment. My beloved Gary. 3B is open. What's back here? Is this more cigarette butts on the ground? We got some white noise coming from the TV over here. Got a bloody bathroom there or something. Doesn't open it. Maybe that'll open up 5A though. Oh, what's up, Amy? Watch well, it's like if you take the elevator, you lose your items or something. Then we'll have to go back down to the third floor. Do, 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 do. Rumbly, rumbly. Oh, damn. Don't look good. Dagger to the face. I couldn't get the dagger. Got another key. You wish to break the seal of Alu. Your answer lies in the blood strained, blood stained knife and the face hiding in the deep dark. But only those who have ascended to the highest point can descend to the lowest depths. Gary loves you. Uh, the top floor there. Top floor. So, 5A is where the seal is. I think it wants me to go to the top floor here. Doot, 
Do 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 feel that whiskey in my left ankle right now <laughs> hopefully it chills out sacrifice what you cling to basement dumbwaiter how to use pull open handle to open hatch place item or being to be sacrificed <laughs> inside the container pull down on handle to close hatch Press button to send dumbwaiter to basement. Light will blink red if done successfully. Please make sure your sacrifice does not jostle around inside the container. Do not open hatch once dumbwaiter has reached the basement. I do not have enough earplugs and I'm tired of people losing them. Please wait for the green light to come on before using it. An Oni TV. what that's that's uh is that just like someone's bed i mean what's over that b1 the light is green so beat it. only do a tron Let me open it. The A button on this controller, man. It's starting to shit out on me. Alright, let's see if I can cling or go to the seal now, maybe? They're blocking that way off. Do, 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 do. Going down. I didn't pick fourth floor. Gary lied to us. When you see it, run. It's a camera. Now we can only see in flashes. I guess I gotta go back the other way. This game is wild, it is, isn't it? Oh, what was that? Priest what? Priest cop. <laughs> Don't mind me just passing through. Dead over here. 
can't get to that. We're moving. Uh oh. Run. Oh no, I went too far. Ah, I went too far, it got me. <laughs> Mortis. Here's your favorite part again, OJ Machine. My A button wouldn't stick. This would be easier, but it's starting to stick. Need to clean it. Pressure. Loser. It might be. I don't know what it said. <laughs> I don't know what it said. Let me pause this real quick. I want to show you guys something. Uh, so on the game, you can't really see it right because of the window and everything. Let me do just real quick. I want to do display capture so you guys can see. Don't worry about that. Uh, if you see here, uh, let me move this to the top. Yeah. So if you see over here, this is like the border on the outside of the game over here on the left. And there's one on the right as well. And I just wanted to point that out because as we're going through here, there are little things that are happening on the side here, like just little glitches and whatnot. And little uh, ghosts and stuff. I don't know. Stuff was moving around on the side. Just to add a little bit more creepiness there. Bullshit. Got the cross, the lights come back on.
my beloved gary alas the mask is already stained with blood my blood the ritual is complete you will not find me on this mortal plane for i am beyond look for me in the unseen world if you dare tiffany that tiffany crazy yo seal on door five or 5a is now broken i okay, just gotta get back out here oh he got me maybe i should fight him now that the lights on for sure they didn't pop up that time. Ouch. Now he's a thing. I don't think so, Mike. Because the lights are on. I am sorry to have worried you. I am perfectly fine. I have not been feeling like myself lately. However, I am much better now. Please do not trouble yourself with coming to visit. I have decided to take an extended vacation in the country so you will not find me at home. Sincerely, Lisa Pierce. I shall kick my butter lots from Lisa. Okay, she says she's in 5A. There's candles in the elevator now. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it did, Mike. I don't know. What? Now we gotta go back, I guess. That's odd. Oh, maybe I do need the knife in 2A first. Perhaps. the dagger now well that just removed the seal but there's still part of the seal there though that's what I'm thinking maybe I do got to go back to the mask we'll just check it while we're here though Uh, 
Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and then I died, or right? So, but then when it respawned me, I already had the cross, which means I went down there and got the cross. And I wouldn't have gone back left, so I figured the mask was taken care of, but I guess not. We didn't fight this thing though that time. It might be here this time if it, we gotta do that. Yeah, cause the note's here. I wish it would save it right there, that'd be nice, like right here. Especially this thing's gonna be here. Ah, oh, I tried to turn, no. Uh, this is up at the letter. It's right down here, so. We still gotta go do the damn dagger again, apparently. easier to just travel with the analog stick but if you gotta like turn and point like that you probably want to switch to the d-pad from lisa, um, lisa. So we gotta stop by 2a and get the dagger thing and then we can go back to 5a The seal is broken. Next up. Da, 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 da. All aboard. Lisa, said, got your alright. 
A demon. Ah. <laughs> fight it, John. Well, we didn't fight it. Oh, no. we saw it. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Lisa. The devil made me do it. I think I'm assuming I just leave now. I don't know. I'm I'm guessing too you can actually save Lisa there, maybe? I don't know. I didn't kill those spirits that went into the dummies fast enough. And then one attacked me, and then I got possessed, I think, and it killed Lisa, so. Yep, guess I'll just go home now. Didn't solve anything. Lisa died. Uh oh. Back at the elevator. Take it, save her. Well, Lisa's dead, yeah. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Martin? Bob's glasses. Hello? Hello? Who's that hiding over here? Okay. Well, they're dead. I mean, if you remember earlier in the game, <laughs> Hello. they got killed with their own something. I don't know. Rubber ducky. Abby, are you in here? I don't remember anything further. Oh, let's go up into the attic, man. To the attic, bruh. Oh, there was? I, I didn't see the person in the uh, basement. You're here at rest, priest. Abby, let's go back to the basement. You're so sad, dearie. Let's go. You need to get better. What about Mary? Well, she got beat with Rod, so. You should be saved. You should just see now. Keep here with me. You go. We are going just here and now. All by yourself. Go ahead. Please, you're a little stick at me. Father Allred, Mr. Martin? Got some backup. Or maybe nuts. Please. We woke up again. 
final day before the Sabbath. One day until the profane Sabbath. Do, do, do. I'm not going in there. Do, do. Vaya con Dios, Father Garcia. Do, do, do. Why do I always want to go out that way? You gotta go down this way. taped off. We're gonna go down here and down that way. This way. Nope. Yeah, there's too much action going on over there for just a measly old priest who drives on the wrong side of the road. that was looks like we're going this way uh, I guess I'll check the attic while we're here oh the attic is what was blocked off okay check their room Nope. We will not check their room. Went back to the basement, I assume, now. Uh. Foster Ward. Foster Ward. Foster Ward. Foster Ward. Please come quickly. It's going to be alright, Foster Ward. Oh shit. It's going to be alright, Foster Ward. <laughs> wow, that's crazy looking. Oh no. Woke up. Alright, it's t the day of the Sabbath. Here we go. The Profane Sabbath, 1987. My birth year. I need to check inside one last time. The key is in the basement. I just knock on my door. Oh, probably won't let them in. Jehovah's Witness outside.
Run for it. Run for it. Yale Psychiatric Institute, new patient intake form, patient name, Ward, John Thomas. Age 33, male, ethnicity, white, Caucasian. Assigned counselor, James Spinnell. Health examination results, height, six foot two inches, weight, 185 pounds, 92 beats per minute for heart rate. 135 over 81 for blood pressure. Current status, minor cuts and bruises, sprain in left ankle. Patient is in a state of psychological shock, existing conditions, asthma, diminished mobility from childhood, injury to right knee. What do they want from me? Why are you tormenting me like this? I don't know how you ended up here, I just... Oh. Oh no. Well, there's the will. Means the house is dead ahead. No pun intended. Spooter work uh, walking up there too. Doors wide open. Everything changed the moment I stepped inside this house. There it is, the entrance to the abyss. Yeah, this house is fucked up. Even more water on the floor here. Got pieces of wood and stuff down. Lots of debris. I met the devil in this very room. See what the other rooms say before we go to the attic. Nothing. They didn't deserve this. Should have been me. the twins not the twins oh no took the whole house with it everybody's gone Damnatio Memoriae New Blood Interactive Presents A Game by Airdorf Faith Chapter 3 Well, I'm sure there's other endings you can get I wonder if you go to the attic you get a different ending Cause that was just in the child's room there in the, Where the twins room was at Yeah, bad ending Thank you guys. I mean, it's first time playing, you know, I was just walking around the house, so. Kaylee Tracy. Thank you for the GG's everybody. The mother, the daughter and the you, uh, unclean spirit. Ending three, a new vessel.
it's wildly different from the ending i've seen yeah crazy right thanks everybody thanks i freaked your mom yeah thanks dual saga crunchy legs big mike danae spaz appreciate it everybody yeah i mean they i mean this is a new game that come out right like recently and uh they do a good job of keeping the retro feel Jeez, G, G, G. Thank you, OJ Machine. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Thank you, Queer Cheetah Girl. Thank you, uh, Wing Kitsune. Hit the button. See what happens. Get the credit roll. Thanks, Ant. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we got the bad ending here. The whole house was just poof. So. Guess everybody lives in purgatory in the abyss there with uh with Amy. Oh okay, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, the whole collection came out then recently. Halloween, that's a band, isn't it? That was a neat trilogy they made. Shout outs to Blurring Line who actually gifted me this game because I kept talking about it in my chat that I wanted it and uh Blurring Line gifted this to me. PC upgrade donors. Bro, when I go to get a PC upgrade, if this many people throw on it, that's gonna be fantastic. Oh, but open it up. This dope ass credit theme. Hey, 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 hey. Everybody getting hype? Beat drop. Hey. Hey. Thank you for always having faith in me. Nice little touch there. Nice little touch there. New background unlocked. New effect unlocked. Did I unlock turbo mode? Gary loves you. We don't even know who Gary the fuck is. What if you continue? Oh wait, what if we just go up here real quick and go up to the attic? Let's just go to the attic. I know we got the next run getting set up, so I think we got a little time maybe to check out the attic. I wonder if she's still up there waiting for me. Why did I come up here? Why couldn't I just leave and never come back? Bob, I wouldn't be breaking client confidentiality like this if we didn't go way back. The situation is really starting to worry me. Cindy's delusions are much worse than she initially let on. I was careful to gradually introduce the reality of the situation to her. You were very patient with how she still spoke about them. The fake birthday parties, etc. I thought we were making progress when I got her to accept that she miscarried and that the twins are gone. Uh oh. Twins didn't even exist, guys. But she now seems convinced that they are trying to make contact with her and that she can find replacements for their spirits to inhabit. Does that sound familiar? Remember the house we found in the village in, in Nicaragua? Nicaragua? 
Did you tell her about it? I don't know why you would, but I can't think of any other reason for why she would be talking about things like that. Come by my office as soon as you can. We need to talk about what to do next, Morris. The window, it's not broken. Do 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 So You should have had a normal childhood. I should have saved you. So there's the dead twins. The miscarried twins. Then who's Amy? How does she play in that? Like he was their actual daughter that they neglected after having the miscarriage or something? A lot of blood it looks like there on the bed. We walked around the whole house. Hmm. I wonder now if I go back, will it do something different? I mean, now that I got the letter about the miscarried twins. We gotta hurry up here anyways. Let's just check it out and see if that will do something different for us. All right, let's check the attic real quick one more time. Now that we have gone down there. No, nothing else in here. Let's just walk around, make sure we walk around here. Look pretty good. Window is not broken. We'll break it, man. All right, I got you. That's cool then. I mean, there's some stuff in the story I don't quite get, but it's probably because like you're saying, we missed some things and didn't get the whole story. I did not shoot Amy though, in day one. I shot some random dude in the woods. <laughs> All right guys and gals, thank you so much for hanging out and watching Resident Evil 2 with me and then this game. Had a real good time playing this with you. And uh, it was real fun. I enjoy this game. Definitely worth checking out. As you can see, multiple endings and multiple stuff to do. Just uh, multiple endings throughout the chapters as well, not just in this one chapter. So that's pretty neat. I know there's like at least five endings uh, in the beginning. So in the first chapter alone. So lots of cool stuff to um check out if you enjoyed this game I, it's pretty cheap right now too it's like 13 bucks or something so pretty worth checking out on steam if you enjoyed it because there's still a bunch of stuff to do a bunch of stuff to uncover about the story and all that so uh yeah check it out thanks for watching i'm gonna throw it over to intermission we will have a brief period where there's no music or anything and that's just us switching restreamers and then we will get the uh next run uh going for you guys set up once again thanks for hanging out rgl tv halloween horror marathon 2022 and a lot done and a lot of cool stuff in the bag but a lot of cool stuff yet to come so stick around and uh stick around for all four of them she's going to be playing halloween forever I will see you guys tomorrow sometime. Take it easy. Peace.